How you doing? JC, JC's randomness. And today, we about to get these tires done. But what I wanna let you know about these tires is what I've already done to mine. They've already been prepped and ready for this process. Cause I am going to be using regular household super glue. Is you wanna make sure that you clean it with some type of solvent. I just use regular rubbing alcohol. Use what you want. Um, I'm a noob with this. This isn't my first time putting on tires. Uh, the rubber alcohol seemed to work before. I just use, most of the time I use what I have around the house. And also I'm gonna try this trick that uh, my guy Rich from Driftomaniacs has, uh, said try. That's basically putting some duct tape on the inside of the rubber um, to stop the ballooning because a set of these will be going on my brushless uh, one double four double oh one the freak had two different thickness of foams and what I want to do is with my foam I haven't done it yet is I like to trim this the out I like to trim the outer edge and the inner edge just so it sits on the rim better. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go on the thin and just real thin edge. And these are 10 scale tires on uh, 14 and 12 scale vehicles. But I'm pretty sure the same process will work on larger tires. Um, I just want to take the thinnest amount that I can because if it's not enough I can always go back in pull some more foam off and of course it's not gonna be perfect I'm not a surgeon so nor am I a, a barber gotta keep that in there all right <clears throat> so we got one edge down as you can see Instead of it being that hard, that hard straight edge, now we got a little bit of a bend to it, kind of like the wall of a tire. Huh. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And as I said, I'm not gonna take you through the whole process on all four tire, on all eight tires, because it is the same. Um, whether the whether the foam is thick or whether you work with a thinner foam like this one. You just want to try and clear, clear up the edge to give you a better seat. And that's all, honestly, all I'm doing here is just cleaning up the edge to give me a better seat. Just to show you how good that is. And then we just, and then we just seat it in here and show you. But as you can see, it seat has a good seat in there. So these tires, you know, once you flip it, all right, so we flipping them inside out. These tires actually have some, like some enforced band on them, but they still balloon. So I'm gonna put the duct tape on it, just on the, the center portion. And then we'll get it mounted and then get the glue on and see what it looks like from there. Why duct tape so hard to get off? That's right down the middle. Just straight down the center. And I believe the theory in this is, is try to basically maintain its shape so it doesn't, you know, puff up under extreme speeds. And of course, I got a little bit of extra excess, a little excess tape. So I just have to bring it around. And I also got some white tape, so I'll try try one with the vinyl uh, Gorilla tape too, 
see what that's like. But uh, as you can see, just go through, get that smooth down. And I got to do this seven more times. All right, guys, can you see that tape? Can you see that? So you can see the tape is just sitting in the base of the tire. Just basically right on the tread, opposite side of the tread. You just want to get it a little flatter. Just roll my fingers in there and get it smooth as I can. Let's get the foam in there. And now let's fit this tire. See what we work with. Sorry about that. I was looking at the tire, not up at the camera. I just want to make sure to pull it up on a thread. I mean, on the tread, not the thread. Pull it up on the tread. This is the first one I put on. So it's probably good and set. Rattling super glue. I'm gonna do the back first. I like to get my right in on that bead. And man, I just follow this line like here. Try and stay right on it. Try not to get too much glue on the outside of the tire. And right as I said, that a big bubble popped up. Backside done. And now front side. Get it right in on the beat. And pop a little bit of that glue in. And we just ride that line. Very small squeeze. Uh oh. Got it on my, got it on the outside of my wheel, y'all. I hate that. Oh well. Gotta finish it. Class one complete. I won't put a band around here. Just... All right, guys. So we're all done. Glued and banded, as you can see. I got an ugly spot there. My one tip on doing this. Just let hear me out if you watch this long. If you're gonna be cheap enough and use just some regular super glue, don't try and use it to the very last squeeze. This is a product of me being cheap on the cheap. I tried to get every last squeeze of glue out and as I squeezed it, sh my hand jolted up and I got glue all over the tire. So I'll deal with that mistake. <laughs> but there we got it. Eight tires, all glue. Running video is coming up. I just gotta let these sit for a little bit. So I'll check you out there in the field, y'all. Holla at us. McKnight Mayhem, JC's RC Randomness. You already know who it is, man. We do appreciate y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Some fun stuff about to come up. Picked up the dirt. No tire balloon. He ain't up. I honestly like the bad. Them and Wampies do not play. That's the type of battery in here. 
I'm gonna get the wheels up. You see me? My feet! There's only on two left. 